Hello folks, this is 2023 May June paper 42 and the question number is 6. This question is concerned with the chapter electromagnetic induction. Uh, as the diagram shows, it says a heavy aluminum disc, aluminum disc has a radius of 0 0.36 meters. So 0 0.36 meters, this is the radius, radius. The disc rotates with the wheels of a vehicle. It is with the wheels of a vehicle and forms part of an electromagnetic braking system on the device. So braking system, electromagnetic braking system. In order to activate the braking system, braking system, it is something on this paper. <laughs> I can't take it out. A uniform magnetic field of flux density 0 0.17 Tesla. So this is uh, our B here. Uh, is switched on. This magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of rotation of the disc. So this uh, disc is like this. Uh, the field is uh, perpendicular. So the angle formed here will be 90 degrees. Let us say. Uh, as shown in figure <coughs> 6.1. The Our first task is a defined magnetic flux. It is simply the product of uh, the magnetic flux density and the area. Uh, the area should be normal to the uh, field line. So we can do that. Now Calculate the magnetic flux through the disc. So we have to calculate the overall magnetic flux through the disc. So our flux should be equal to phi equal to the flux density into area. And since it is a perpendicular, we don't have to use the uh, theta term there. So this will suffice. So this B is equal to B is equal to 0 0.17. This area is pi r squared equal to 0 0.17 into pi into r is 0 0.36 squared so when i do this in calculator it will give me so so it gives me 0 0.069 and several other terms here so i just round it off to 2sf to 2 so it is 0 0.069 tesla it is 0 0.069 uh so sorry it is not tesla here it is weber weber it is for the magnetic flux so it is weber unit is wb in the shortcut form now the next part is the next part is the disc is rotating at a rate of 25 revolutions per second so that means the frequency of the disc is 25 hertz the simple meaning is Calculate the magnitude of the electromotive force induced between the axle and the rim of the disc. So it says that we have to find the EMF between the axle, axle, axle and the rim of the disc. So rim means this or this or this or this or this. So <clears throat> the first thing you have to do is F equal to this mass. That means the time is equal to 1 by F. Time period is equal to equal to 1 by 25. Now what happens is the value of E, the value of E is equal to uh, d phi by dt uh, and the time is, let us say in one rotation, the time difference will be equal to this t and in one rotation, the flux changes by, changes by. so what happens is, when this thing moves by one rotation, rotation, uh, it will, uh, let us say here, this field line is, uh, this field line is passing through this point P, this point P. Now when it rotates once, rotates once, this field line will go through the whole area, through the whole area, which is pi r square. So that means uh, the flux line will go through the whole circle. So that means the f when it travels in one circle, uh, for example, in time t here, in one circle, the change of flux should be equal to, change of flux should be equal to, uh, the, the overall thing here, which is which we have gone li like this. So in one circle, the flux changes by this much. In one circle. So that's why I must have this d phi is equal to the phi we have got here. That's equal to 0 0.069 by 1 by 25. That's equal to uh, 0 0.069 into 25. So this uh, will give me this. So 0 0.069 into 25 equal to 1.730. So it's equal to, so it is 1.73 dash dash dash. I'll just use this 1.73 volt. Yes. Now, the axle and the rim are connected 
into an external circuit that enables the energy of rotation of the disk to be stored for future use yes the direction of rotation is shown in figure 6.1 so we have the direction like this it is going like this going like this use the Lange law of elementary induction to determine whether the current in the disk is from the rim to the axle or from the axle to the ring so we have to find whether the current is from here to here here to here here to here or here to here or here to here here to here or here to here so we have to find and we have to apply the Lange law Lange law so what is happening right now here is if I look at this side if I look at this side the rotation is happening like this rotation is happening like this it means rotation is going like this like this here so if I Lange law applies which uh, should apply because it's the law here then uh, the force the there will be a force somewhat in this direction because of intermediate induction the intermediate induction should be creating this type of force here this type of force so now to create this type of force out of this magnetic field now what should happen let us see to create this type of force from this magnetic field we must have this is the magnetic field and the force in this direction so that means that means that means the force is in this direction the force is in oh, yeah, my, I'm not able to place my finger like this so like this like this the force should be in this direction that means current should go like this current should be going current should be going sorry so see this finger here oh it is so difficult here so this is the magnetic field this is the force here force here so that means current should be going like this current should be going like this here like this current should be going like this so that means here the current should be from the rim to the axle rim to axle like this so let me repeat once again it's because since the disc is moving like this moving like this the force should generate like this because of the induction according to the Lange law so to create this force our current should be given by the left hand rule so this is the magnetic field this is the force it has to generate so that means the current should go in this direction in the direction of other fingers so it should be from the rim to the axle so that's what I have to write here so according to Lange law according to Lange law Lange law uh, force force uh, should be should be uh, should be from up to down at point at point uh, let us say point x let me say this is point x this is point x rotating like this so this thing should create force like this force uh, at point x so from left hand rule and rule the direction of current should be should be from rim to axle axle that is into the plane of plane of paper paper at point x or i can also say away from the observer away from the observer so this makes us easy this application of this law makes us easy to find the direction of the current here so that's the solution of this question